Where when you see a problem, you can't decide that, you know what, if I start to try to solve that problem, then people are gonna blame me on it. Sorry about that, you're the person in charge. Mm -hmm. Move to where the problem is, because sometimes only the leader can solve the problem. Yes, you're gonna get dirty. Yes, you're gonna get tainted. tainted. Yes, you're gonna paint it with the same brush. But sorry, that's your responsibility. Move to where the problem is and do the best you can to solve it. Uh, another uh, chapter is titled Run Toward the Sound of the Guns. Right. And to illustrate this, uh, you talk about a, uh, a main professor, a, a, a professor from Bowdoin College, Bowdoin College. named yeah. Joshua Chamberlain, who played a vital role at the Battle of Gettysburg. Uh, tell us a little bit about Joshua Chamberlain and his significance. Yeah, so, so the point of the chapter of Run to the Sound of Guns really, uh, I think, is exemplified by Joshua Chamberlain. So as Mark said, you know, college professor gets called up uh, to lead the 20th Maine during the Civil War. And Chamberlain, not a, not a career soldier, uh, but he gets put in charge of the 20th Maine, kind of pulls them together a, as a fighting unit. Um, but in early July of 1863, um, uh, the Union forces arrive at this uh, small town in Pennsylvania called Gettysburg. And uh, within the next day, uh, the Confederate forces show up in Gettysburg as well. And the Union forces have arrayed their men, their soldiers, along what's called Cemetery Ridge. It's a little bit of the high ground in Gettysburg. And the Confederate forces under John B. Hood show up at Robert E. Lee and, and Hood, really, where Cemetery Ridge is. And tactically, from the military standpoint, you know, if you can break the center, then you can split the forces and your chances of defeating the enemy are, are much larger. So. John Gary realizes that Hood wants to break the center, so he takes the folks from the flanks, particularly from the left flank where the 20th Maine is, and he moves them to the center. But in doing that, he exposes the left flank of Cemetery Ridge, deeply exposes the left flank. Well, Hood sees an opportunity, because the only thing worse than breaking the center is turning the line. Again, tactical terms, if you can get to one side of the enemy or the other, and you turn them where your forces are sweeping down and they're in a line perpendicular to you, you're gonna win. And so Hood realizes, here's a chance. He gets uh, three or four times the force necessary and he charges up what's called Little Round Top at the left flank of Cemetery Ridge. And Joshua Chamberlain is there. He has already been wounded by shrapnel once, maybe twice at that point in time. And now the rebel forces are making their way up the hill. They are about to take Little Round Top and turn the line. Chamberlain realizes he has got to lead his forces into the teeth of the Confederate forces. He draws his sword, yells to the men to, to fix bayonet, and he leads the charge down the hill against the rebel forces and pushes back the rebel forces that day and saves Little Round Top. Now you think about that for just one minute. So Joshua Chamberlain, one man, because he ran to the sound of guns, because he attacked the problem head on, didn't retreat, he knew he had to go right into the teeth of the problem, he saves Little Round Top. In saving Little Round Top, he saved Cemetery Ridge. In saving Cemetery Ridge, he saved the Battle of Gettysburg. Think about that, one man, one man's decision. So the lesson from this particular chapter is, look, as a leader, um, you have to run to the sound of guns. When you see a problem, you can't decide that, you know what, if I start to try to solve that problem, then people are gonna blame me on it. Sorry about that, you're the person in charge. Mm. Move to where the problem is, because sometimes only the leader can solve the problem. Yes, you're gonna get dirty. Yes, you're gonna get tainted. tainted. Yes, you're gonna paint it with the same brush. But sorry, that's your responsibility. Move to where the problem is and do the best you can to solve it.